Welcome to Groompyman's Reviews. Today we're looking at the Tassimo style coffee machine. I've also reviewed the Tassimo My Way 2. I'll leave a pop-up card and a link in the description box below if you're interested in watching that. If you want to pick this up, I'll leave a link in the description box below. As you can see on the box, so compact, it fits anywhere. Space saving. It has a 0.7 litre tank capacity, one touch. Space for every cup, auto cleaning, energy saving and no heat up time. Okay, I'll take everything out of the box. Some paperwork, £20 off coffee pods. Make sure to register your guarantee with Tassimo. And the instruction booklet, I'll just give it a quick flip through for you. You've got pictures there and the writing would be further on. And the actual machine itself. When I took the machine out, I was so surprised at how small it is compared to the Tassimo My Way 2. We'll start from down here at the bottom actually. That's your T-disc. You get some instructions there as well. Of course, these would be in pictures as well. And the T-disc, it's not machine washable this, that's the barcode, you'll need to face it downwards and use it that way. Try not to lose this because if you lose this, you are able to get another one from Tassimo's website, but it's just a hassle. That's why they've made a cutout for it here, so it lives there. That. Towards the back, got a fixed power cord. I don't know how long that is, but it won't be that long. Water tank on this side, just pulls out. That has instructions inside as well. It's a water tank. An information sticker there. This is a 1400 watt model. The tank, it would go in at an angle like so. Pop it in place like so. This drip tray with the Tassimo branding is removable. Of course, when you do your cycle, you'll need to remove that anyway when you put a big jug there. There are two slots in there. If you were using a large cup, you could leave it there or you could move it up here if you're using a small cup. At the side, on off, that will of course tell you if it needs refilling and that will tell you if it needs cleaning the machine. At the top, some Bosch branding. A little warning sticker there, do not open when the orange light is flashing, wait until the orange light is steady. If you just open that, that's where the pods would go. All this is removable by the way, you're able to remove this to give it a further clean. That's the barcode reader. I just wanted to show you that QR code where it says new. I've scanned that and it's brought me to this page. It's showing all the different Tassimo coffee machines. That's the my way to what I've reviewed. And then this is this one, the new one, the style. And the rest of them there. Okay, I filled the tank up with water. I obviously washed it first, filled it with water. I've got a jug here, put that there. I need to run this cycle three times. And then on the fourth time, I am able to make my drink. Here's the tea disc. As you can see there, as I showed you before, that's the barcode that needs to be pointing downwards. Just lift that up. Put that there, like so. Just close that. And if I just move the jug out of the way, I just want to show you. You could see that it's lit up. Just press start. Sounds like road work. What I'll do is I'll let this cycle finish and then I'll do another two more cycles of course as it is instructed and then I'll move over to making a coffee. It stopped, I need to push it again once it stopped flashing, it's still flashing at the moment. It stopped flashing, I'll push it again. The reason is only let so much amount of water out because that's in case you want to make a cup of tea rather than doing the cleaning cycle because that tea disc is purely for water. The water cycle is completed. I filled some fresh water in and now my favourite part to make some coffee. I'm making some Costa Caramel Latte. I've taken both the pods out here, you could see. And that one you need to shake and it says me first on there. And this one a second. Just give this a shake. Lift that up. Remember the barcode side goes down. I've removed the drip tray because of course this cup needs enough room. All I do now is just push the start button.
sneak up Wait for that to stop flashing. Oh god, it off. Apologies, my little son's here with me. So that stopped flashing now. I can open this. Both of these can be recycled, of course. And I'll put the espresso in. Let's press start. Good thing about this machine is because it reads the barcode, it knows what temperature to use and it knows how much drink to pour out. I'm not sleeping. Oh, okay. I love watching this part. There we go, a perfect Costa Caramel Latte made at home. For the price, you can't go wrong with this machine. At the time of making this video, I picked this machine up from Amazon for £44. The only thing I do not like about this machine is the side tank. I wish it had a lid on it because if your sink is away from where the machine is and you fill it up to the top, there are chances of it spilling. I mean, it is only water, but still, I would have liked to see a lid on it. But overall, the size is nice and compact, so if you're limited for space, this would be perfect for you. It also makes hot chocolates. Time for me to enjoy my Costa Caramel Latte. If you found the video useful, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to watch more. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video.